I mean, this was a perfect weekend to have Ryan on the pole on this uh, outside front row and to sit here and get our first, first, and second place finish. Uh, just an awesome day for Stuart Haas Racing. These guys, you guys at the shop that didn't, that aren't here, you guys did an awesome job. These things, these things have been good. We just needed one day where we didn't have something stupid go wrong, and uh, it happened for both of us today. In the summer, always your tough stretches. Tony Stewart, the driver, do you like how the races are lining up as this team continues to take it to another level? Yeah, we ran the Kings Royal last night at Eldora, and we, uh, I got three and a half hours of sleep by the time we got here. My dad said he thought I fell out of the seat last night, so I guess, <laughs> I guess they don't have to worry about us falling out of the seat. This is, uh, this is definitely a stretch that we like coming up here. So, uh, you know, this is a lot of momentum, and uh, you know, we couldn't have done this without Hendrick engines and Hendrick chassis. Uh, you know, those guys do a great job for us every week. And uh, Darian Grubb and Tony Gibson, my buddy down there, Ryan, I mean, just an awesome job this weekend by all these guys. Uh, just uh, perseverance on this FedEx team. You know, they, uh, they don't ever want to give up, and, you know, they push me when I want to give up. So uh, it's just one of those days where we had to battle back, obviously. And uh, third's a, a good day, but, you know, we just fought this car all day long, and, uh, and it Right there at the end, we made one adjustment that really woke it up, and obviously we were able to make moves there at the end towards the front, but um, good day for our FedEx uh, freight team. Yeah, I'm arguing with myself if I should be frustrated or proud because we finished awfully good with right. everything we went through today, but, man, it's just painful to, uh, to have mistakes on pit road, painful to get spun out on the racetrack, and truthfully, the problem started on Friday with a poor qualifying effort, and that's been... You know, the start of a, of a bad weekend is there for us. And we've got to get that part picked up, and we're going to work real hard on that. And then also on the other areas, but looking back on the day, you know, pass as many cars as we did four or five times um, and end up in the top five is pretty awesome. Is it just impossible to pass once you get in the back behind other guys? It is. I mean, if uh, the guy you're trying to pass wants to and runs a wide lane or, or you know, occupies a couple lanes with his line, um, the air, even on a small track like this, is, is bad enough to where you, you just can't pass the guy. Um, and then, you know, of course, the tempers flare and the bumping and banging starts and uh, it turns into an exciting race at the end. Yeah, we ran top five to top ten all day. My guys did an awesome job. I'm excited about that. Uh, this race track for me has been tough in the past and we've always uh, struggled. And, um, you know, I felt like we unloaded in practice and felt like I knew what I wanted this week. And we worked around what, what I thought was right and um, my guys backed me 100%. And uh, we did a good job. You know, there's times the race is crazy. You know, there's times we were 25th, times we were first and second. It's like we had no idea what was going on. So, um, or at least I didn't. I think Zip knew what was going on. I just drive the car. But uh, he made the right call there at the end to get the fuel, lose a little bit of track position. But uh, we were able to fight our way back through the field and uh, get a couple there in the last uh, lap there. Um, gives us a good solid finish. So, um, getting it back on a roll. You know, we went through that dry spell and I feel like we pulled ourselves out and we're getting. Uh, and you know, we can come to a tough racetrack like this and get our Home Depot Toyota up in the top five. It's a big deal for us. What has been the difference in their turnaround the past two months? Uh, it's been a lot, you know, and um, you know, it's just a lot of hard work. You know, all of us working really, really hard, trying to figure out what it is and, and looking outside the box a lot and, and, and seeing maybe there's something else that, that triggers me to go harder, triggers me to do something. And uh, just looking at a lot of mental ways of looking at things and um, like a typical athlete, I think, and uh, seems to help out a lot.